I'm going to start with some um, reflections tonight before we meditate. Um, still going through the Against the Stream book on Monday nights, as I have been for the last several months. And tonight's topic, chapter, is the uh, Revolutionary Manifesto and the section on defiance, defy the lies. From a Buddhist perspective, we are currently incarnated into samsara. Samsara is the Buddhist name of uh, you know what we call planet Earth, this human realm that we are currently in. And one of the things that uh, I believe drew me to Buddhism and one of the things that I, I love about the Buddha's teachings is how um, how honest and realistic um, his perspective was about the world and uh, how much it resonated with me that where we are is in a realm, realm of, of ignorance, that human beings are born into a state of ignorance and are um, fueled by greed and hatred and delusion and that this world that we live in um, the norm the normal state of being for humans is a state of being asleep and being ignorant to what's causing suffering in one's life and how to end suffering um, and it feels like that to me, and I, I kind of had that perspective even before I came to Buddhist practices. And I think it resonated with me so much because I already felt like from a very young age, there's something really wrong with this world. There's something, um, something off with um, the power structures and the political structures and even just a cursory glance at history uh, as a history of war and oppression and violence and ignorance and religions that uh, are delusional and causes of oppression. And um, so when I heard that the Buddha uh, said, yeah, here we are in samsara, where people are ignorant and confused and uh, out of this ignorance and confusion uh, then people create religion to try to figure it out or give themselves some comfort or some um, meaning why is it so painful here why is it so confusing why do we suffer so much? Why are human beings so selfish, self-centered, and generally unwise and unkind? And so then we create um, creation myths. Oh, we're like this because God created us this way. We we're born into sin, or we're like this because um, for all of the different delusional ways that we assign meaning and, and call it religion. And, and the Buddha was such a, a pragmatic, practical um, person, uh, really more of a psychologist than a spiritual leader, who just looked at the human mind and said, well, how do our minds work? How do our bodies, um, how, does this, how does it work? What's happening here? What's reality? not based on myth, not based on uh, philosophy, but what's the direct experience of being human and why do we suffer? What's the cause of suffering? 
and what can end suffering. And uh, as m everybody that has spent any time looking at, at the teachings of the Buddha knows, like he was quite laser focused on, I only teach the truth of suffering, what causes suffering, and and the good news, which is, although we're born into a sleep-like, delusional, confused state of greed and hatred, and um, it's possible to wake up. It's not our birthright to wake up. It's not easy to wake up. We are, um, the odds are stacked way against human happiness, true happiness. Uh, it takes a lot of fucking work and it's a radical undertaking. It's a radical path of defiance, of rebellion, of a revolutionary like attitude and activity to go against greed and against hatred and against delusion and it's and it's it's against our very um cellular drives our our instinctual human tendency which the buddha doesn't say why it's like this um, and so, uh, you know, just know that he doesn't say this, but what I think, <laughs> what makes sense to me, uh, is when we look at biological evolution, when we look at human beings evolving, of course, we have this survival instinct that's constantly craving for pleasure. The Buddha quite clearly said, second noble truth, the cause of suffering is repetitive craving. So then we say, well, why, why are we born into this craving body? And a lot of religions say like, oh, because it's your, you know, God created you that way. And the Buddha just is like, no, no, that's not. We weren't created. We have evolved from, you know, the sea and primates and, you know, evolution makes sense. And it makes sense that as human beings, we're still these animals that crave and craving becomes clinging and clinging becomes attachment and, and, and greed. And so when I say here we are in this realm of greed, it has its roots in the human survival instinct, in the craving that we all are born with and it's not sin, and it's not your fault. It, it just goes with birth. Instinctual drive towards pleasure. An instinctual drive towards hatred of pain.